and welcome to another Wellness Wonder. It's a blustery day here in the garden today and I'm going to take you through our wooded area across the systematic beds and finishing at the serenity of the lake. I hope you join with me as I share with you some of the bountiful greenery and foliage that is coming to the fore at the moment. For this week's wander we're starting beside Malus Pratii which has flowers typical of the crab apples and it's quite spectacular to see at the moment. And from here we're going to head through the Pine Eatum. I said it was a blustery day and you can see here the path is kind of decked and dotted with cones that have fallen from high amongst the boughs of our splendid conifers. So this is Pinus nigra subspecies palatiana, the Crimean pine. Just one of a number of giants which stand throughout this area of the garden. Reaching high skywards. It's always lovely to wander slowly through here amongst the long grass, but also to take time to look up into the canopy. So here you can see our most splendid Araucaria aracana, or monkey puzzle tree. It's a very quiet sight within the garden. And really sits at the heart of the garden. So you are quite well protected from all the noise that the surroundings bring. And here we're heading towards one of my favourite trees that sits in the midst of all these giants. This is Juglans iliopyron, which has this splendid trunk and long extending limbs from which are just emerging leaf and catkins. So here you can see the leaves and catkins of Juglans Eliopyron, just look fresh and lush on this overcast, windy, slightly damp day. And this corner of the garden really does demand that you take your time through here and explore the many paths that meander through the area. So we're now passing the fissured stem of Eucomia almoides, which is another plant which has newly emerging foliage and whose flowers have gone over now but looked extraordinary on close examination earlier in spring. And from here we're just passing our wisteria, which has had a heavy pruning this year. 
and passing a number of our lilacs. So here we have Syringa, General Pershing, just coming into flower. And also the pure white form of Syringa, Madame Lemoine. Just now taking in one of the highlights of our tree collection, Quercus Warburgii, here sitting beside a woody legume or member of the pea family, Pateria ramentacea. And as we step back from the Quercus or Cambridge Oak and look into the canopy, you can see it's taking on the reddish flush that's typical of the emerging foliage at this time of year. also taking a moment to admire the dark silhouette of Cedrus deodara here. And you can hear the wind bristling through the canopy to great effect. It's a very, very atmospheric day here. And swaying in the breeze, the wonderful bracted flowers of Cornus, Eddie's White Wonder. Beautiful, absolutely covered in blossom at the moment. And continuing through the Gilbert Carter woodland area, just going to peer at the newly emerging foliage of Tilia endochrysia, which is another plant whose fresh foliage has a reddish tint. And emerging from our woodland area onto the systematic beds, there's quite a contrast. It's a much more open site, well tended, with the grass mown short and the beds here edged and ready for planting up for summer. But there are already a few things of interest emerging down here on the beds. So plenty of buds here on our iris and even some flower to enjoy here on Iris Germanica 
Bar Nepalensis. You can see the beard clearly shown here on the fall of the petals. And in a few weeks there'll be much more colour here to enjoy amongst the irises. And as we head through into the Asteraceae or Daisy family of the systematic beds, you can see this area is really erupting with new foliage and growth. Really giving a hint of what's to come over the coming months. So in the foreground, the lovely spiny rosettes of the Scotch thistle, Onopordum acanthium, and also these wonderful voluptuous mounds of cardoon, Cynara cardunculus. wonderful to just wend your way amongst the many paths that crisscross systematic beds. And here a few of the umbels and interest, particularly Alexander's here, Smyrnium olusatrum, which has these wonderful heads of many, many flowers, almost ball-like as they emerge. And the splendid architectural form of Ferula communis, Quite wonderful to see this at its best. And from here we're going to emerge out onto the main walk that runs down to Trumpington Road. across the drive to another area scattered with fallen pine cones to finish this week's wellness wander beside the lake. And the blossoms of Prunus avium plena here again wafting in the breeze. It is a beautifully calm spot to finish our wander despite the winds that are romping through the garden today. I hope you've enjoyed joining me again and I'll welcome you back soon for another wellness wander. Thank you and goodbye.